Hello YouTubers! Now today, we have a funny project. We're gonna make a kitchen knife out of a kitchen knife. <laughs> so we're just gonna restore some old piece which has a pretty pretty tough steel. So the file skates it. That's pretty nice. So it's hardened very well and it's pretty sturdy, pretty springy and the blade is not too thick also. And we're gonna completely round out the blade, we take away material here. This material will all get ground off, also on the other side. So we get a nice taper from up to down, complete over the whole knife. And there is no edge feelable here anymore. And what we're also gonna do is break off the handle scales and round out this finger groove like it's needed and like we feel comfortable and then we're gonna apply some millimascus for the handle scales never tried it out before so thought why not give it a try first thing we're gonna do is remove the handle which will be the most fun part because I'm doing it on my anvil with a hammer and just smashing off this piece of plastic okay now I'm gonna take an old hammer not a forging hammer and just start smacking handle scales and as you see they already start popping off always be careful wear safety goggles like I do Very important. you can also just completely smash the whole stuff On this side. Okay. Now we're gonna cut off these rivets, bring them out of the holes, and gonna clean the blade a little bit, and then we're gonna start shaping and grinding the blade. Okay, well I drilled some new holes and the one I made a little bit bigger so I can fit the pin in the middle of the handle, not somewhere downside or upside. And here I made a new more hole and here I made a new hole. Okay, now next thing we're gonna do is draw the scales onto this piece of millimascus. Okay, now I'm gonna cut it out and then we're gonna drill the holes. Okay, now next thing, we're gonna flatten them out on the downside, on the underside, which comes to the tank, and then we can start drilling the holes. Okay, now I decided to take some carbon fiber rods for this material, fits very well, it's also epoxy bound carbon fibers, so it will fit perfectly to the epoxy putty, and I think it starts looking pretty good, the back side I think is even better than the front side, but we will see in the end, because we're going to make a little bit of a coke bottle shape maybe, and now first thing we're going to do is take the piece apart again, and then we're gonna finish the front surface as always <laughs> and put it together again <laughs> and then as said we finish the front surface here now front side finished and next thing we're gonna do is clean up the whole pieces take them apart and glue the handle onto the tank well I tried out something pretty funky uh, Got some paper strips, pretty small, like these ones, but the whole length of the handle. 
and left and right of the rivets I put a strip of paper in between the tang and the handle. Here it already gets pressed out the paper but I hope it will get some nice gap which will be filled with this black epoxy glue. I uh, colored the epoxy black with some pigment and hopefully we get a nice black liner line in between. Now we're gonna wait for the glue to set. Uh, take away the front glue with our bone piece or horn piece or whatever you're gonna take. You can also take wood, whatever. And then we can shape the handle. Okay, now I shape the piece on the belt sander. And it's very nice. Gave it a little bit of a Coke bottle shape. And I think the Damascus pattern came out very good. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is give it a hand polish to a 400 grit and then on the buffing wheel. Okay, well now we're finished with the knife and it's sharp as hell. It's pretty good steel, I have to say, pretty nice. And the handle turned out extremely well. Really love it. I have to say, Millimascus looks even better than I thought it would. And fits better to handle than I thought it would. And I hope it holds up very good. So I'm gonna try it out for the next few weeks and then I give you feedback on how the Milliput itself works out as a handle material. But there it is two component epoxy resin, so I think it should turn out the same as a pine cone stabilized or something different stabilized which is a lot of resin inside and here is also I think resin with mixed with powders or with pigments I don't know exactly what they mix in the milliput that it gets the color but it has to be some kind of dust or some kind of very fine debris so yeah I think it will hold up very well and as I said, it looks extremely awesome. And just to show you some very thin newspaper. So, just to show you how sharp you can get. And I do not even, you know, just, just barely let the knife glide through. I do not push at all or anything. Just let the knife glide through the paper as you see I think you will already see how easy it goes and see the paper is not deforming at all it's just so sharp it's a very nice piece now this is what you can make with a pretty cheap kitchen knife I guess it was about two three five bucks maybe not a lot of money so it's always worth to make something good out of something bad because something bad you cannot use anyway and something good you will use, you will take it even if you have to regrind it a little bit more than a very good knife but now it is a good knife, it's a good cutter, it has a thin edge geometry and it works out like it should like a meat knife, this will be from the shape of the blade, it's uh, approximately a meat knife yeah, now, hope you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and thanks for watching!